I'm just doing a quick video on how I merge my Insta360 X4 uh, videos. Um, I just, I, I looked all on the internet and uh, I came up with my own solution. To me, it's, it's long, it's a long process, but it's what works for me. So you decide whether you want to uh, use it or not, you know, it, it, maybe I can give you an idea or a workaround uh, that can help. But, uh, so this is what I do. I take my, I first insert my uh, 360 videos using an adapter through the micro SD card. I just remove it from the camera. I put it in a micro SD adapter connected to my USB, and then I just copy the files to my desktop, uh, name it 360. The next thing that I uh, do is that I start up the studio and I just use the, uh, what is it called? The media option on the top. I don't choose the project because the projects doesn't let me combine the videos for some reason. So I import all the videos, as you can see on the left, I just import all of them into the studio. And what I do is that I now export every single one as 360. Each video, I just export them and I put them in a folder. Uh, I name it uh, 360 Merge, to merge. I need to merge these uh, files, so I will uh, export, it's a long process, but each one individually, wh whatever uh, link the 360 camera has them in, I will export them in the, and the longest one is 30 minutes. So I've done 30 minute videos, I have to export uh, maybe two 30 minute videos because I actually recorded one hour of video. So those are the two I wanna combine, make a one hour video, and then I'll just export them as you can see, and I export each and every single one, and I put them in the queue, and then I just start the process of exporting each and every single one. Now, remember, it should, you know, that you're exporting each and every single one as 360. You have to export each and every single one as a 360. 60 video for example now these are two videos that I'm going to put together it's two of them and I'm going to combine these two videos uh, the ones uh, let me see um, yeah those are the two exported videos and I think I'm just going to do two of them so let me just do two to show you this is the program I'm going to use it's called vid proc converter AI. Excellent, excellent program. They have it on special sometimes. I have a lifetime license. I think I paid $35 for it. Um, it's, it works for everything. I use it with my GoPro and everything to uh, merge videos together. It does an excellent job on a lot of the things that it does. It just really works really, really well. So I'm very happy with this program. If you're not going to use it for the 360 just in general, it works really well. I use it all the time. So this is the merge option, and I'm going to now add, um, it's under the toolbox usually, and once you use it, it becomes one of the popular videos, uh, options. And I'm gonna drop, let me see, let me drop, um, I'm gonna, just two videos. And then I'm gonna close out, see the 360 export merge, I'm gonna close it out and then I'm gonna run it. And I'm gonna merge these two video files. I'm exporting them to my desktop. They'll be on my desktop combined. So once it combines with this app, it still will not be 360. So once I make these two files a single file using VidProc uh, Video AI, what I end up doing is um, I have to now do something else, but you will get what you see on the right, that's the video you'll get. You kind of see the front and back and the 360 will break. So now I need to fix it again. So I'll merge these 
make these two files into one and I will um, then um, have to do something else. So let me show you what else I did. That's the progress bar that you just saw and I just wait until it finishes 100%. There it goes, it's finishing up, it's finishing up. And once it's finished, it will open up the folder for me on where the file location is, which in this case is the desktop, the single file. So this is the video file on my desktop. Um, pretty big, as you can see. That it created a single one and combined both of them put it on my desktop that's why it's so big i will now start 360 studio video studio and import that single file again and put it in the 360 studio and now i will take that same single file and make sure all the settings are correct and everything. And then I will export it as a 360. As you can see in studio, that single file, even though Vid Pro was unable to insert the fact that it was a 360, uh, Insta360 Studio app does recognize it as a 360 video. I just have to do whatever it needs to do to let YouTube know it's a 360 video. So that's my issue. Um, the, um, it doesn't show up. It doesn't, uh, if I uploaded it like that after the merge, it doesn't work. It, it stays weird looking. So I have to reinsert it in the Insta360 uh, Studio app and export it again as 360. And I export it to another folder so I don't get confused. I usually rename it you know, um, version two of the same file name. And I will do the highest, the highest settings I could do, whether it be H.264, 265, or the, uh, I think that's ProRes 422. If I can do ProRes 422, I do it. Uh, but if it's too big, YouTube only takes 200 and, uh, can on, you can only upload a 260 gig file to YouTube. So if it gets too big, you just can't. So I end up um, redoing it again. And as you see, it's in the queue. And now I'm just gonna start the process. And it's gonna, it's gonna, it's a very long process. Could be an hour, could be three hours. It all depends on the length. It all depends on the size. Um, it just sometimes takes really, 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 really long. So I will just wait to export this. I'll come back, go eat something, and you know, just wait for it to finish exporting. So the exported folder will be on my desktop there, and that's the file I will upload to YouTube. Uh, and um, the bigger the file, the more issues you may have, uh, but a usually um, works as you can see here this is a uh, a folder uh, a file a video file that I just finished and it is 360 you can move it around and it really you know does um, work but once in a blue moon I do get issues that I have to redo it all over again as you can see I'm moving around um, I'll, this is on YouTube and I'll end up having to move it, uh, have to redo it again. So I'll do the export all over again, um, a second time. And that usually catches. So the bigger the file, the more issues you may end up getting because of the fact that um, it just didn't take. But um, this is my workaround. This is the way I'm doing it. I, you don't have to. Usually one export, again, you know, the, the second export by studio usually works. Um, 
sometimes I have to export it a second time, the same file. Uh, I'll have to export it again for whatever reason. And um, I'll export the file that I, the second <laughs> version two file, I'll put that in, export it again as version three. And that's how I end up making sure that it ends up becoming 360. Uh, usually, uh, I've never had to export it, the, X3, the Insta360 Studio, I've never had to export it more than three times. So that's my workaround, hope it helps. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe. Bye now, ask me any questions below.